faster runners, Deadman and Dwight St. Hilaire, who were in the second heat. They got caught up, and Noah comes away with that win at the SEC Championship. So generally speaking, some of the better runners that we've seen are getting the inside lane draws three and four, which is tough in this 400. It's tougher in the 200. We're seeing the same thing. By the way, to get here, top 16, you had to run 45.99 or better this season. So they stay in their lanes through first two turns, and then they break for the pole, and getting that pole position is critical. Noah Williams is gone. Just about to make it the stagger on Tyler Johnson to his outside. And when somebody makes a move on you like that in the ins inside, sometimes it causes you just to use a little bit more energy, work a little bit harder. Here you see Johnson trying to get the pole, and he can't get it. And that takes just a little bit of extra energy that you'd hate to expend after 200 meters. Noah Williams now gapping back to Tyler Johnson. Here comes Williams' teammate, Sean Squirrel Burrell, trying to get into second place. Remember, this all qualifying is on time over the four heats. No heat winners, just as fast as you could possibly run. And Noah Williams just ran 45-34 in the opening heat. His teammate Burrell, 46-06, which is unlikely 